let us do one more numerical. I'm gradually going into the depth of the particular topic. So do start uh, doing your numericals from the basic thing till the uh, toughest sums. Please try not to leave any numerical in chemical kinetics because if the chapter is coming for three, five marks, three marks compulsory there will be a numerical from chemical kinetics. Let us read. The rate constant of the first order reaction is 60 second inverse. Okay, second inverse is the unit for the first order rate equation. So they have given. So let us write the given data. Given data, they have given me k is equal to 60 second inverse. How much time will it take? So I have to find out t. Will it take to reduce the initial concentration? Okay, so what is initial concentration in the first order rate equation? So we very well know initial concentration is represented by A and of the reactant to 1 16th of its value okay from the initial concentration a uh, they have or uh, it has they have reduced it to 1 16th of, of its value that means 1 16th part of it is reduced so what did they give us they've given us a minus x means this is the amount of reactant consumed isn't it this is how much is equal to how much is this value given a by that is 1 by 16th part that means a by 16 this value is given as a by 16 right right so what do you do you're going to now substitute in your first order equation k is equal to 2.303 by t log a by a minus x correct now right so what should i find out i have to find out t isn't it i'm going to take this t out 2.303 by k log a by a minus x so t is equal to 2.303 by k is 60 seconds log a by a by 16. When I solve this, I get an answer of 0 0.0462 seconds. That's it. Just to solve this simple thing, you have to know this concept. If you know this concept, application is easy. Now let us come back. Now solve this particular equation. This is also one more variety of asking you the first order kinetics. What is that? Identify the reaction order of the following rate constant. Nothing. They've given you the values here also. You're supposed to identify whether it is first order, zero order, or uh, second order rate equation. It's simple. You can just know. How can you know? You are seeing the units, you can easily identify, isn't it? Second inverse is a unit for the first order reaction, and L mole inverse, liter mole inverse, second inverse is a unit for second order rate equation. So when they are asking you to identify so this particular one according to the unit you have to remember the units this is your second order they have asked you to find the rate constant isn't it means they have asked you to find the order order means first order second order this is second order this is the rate constant for first order that's simple see the unit see the unit and write the order. See the unit and write the order. That's it. Yes, let us do one more numerical. This is a bit different, but it's very easy. Let us do that. So what do they give us? For first order reaction, show that the time required for 99% completion is twice the time required for 90% completion. Okay. I have to show that the, the T, that is T, I have to show this form actually. Basically, I have to show 99% completion is twice the point of 90% completion. Okay, this is what they want us to show. Then, now, when I have to, when I have given such uh, numerical, let us write the basic data. As I said, try to write the basic data. So it's easy to substitute in the formula. So what is given to me? Given data. Nothing is given to me. Just 99%, 90%. <laughs> so first what do we do we are going to consume now I have to apply this in the first order reaction let us write the first order reaction it's equal to 2.303 by k log a by a minus x done now I have two conditions what is the condition in the first condition the time or this particular one is or they said 99% so what do we do let us assume this t 99% the time as t 0.99 okay simple now for the second one what did they say they have said t 90 percent let us take this as t 0.90 
Now let us start and let us substitute this for this. For the first one, when I have to write or when I calculate, k is equal to 2.3. Okay, this is t, isn't it? 2.30 t. Yeah, 2.303 by t. What is t value? t 0.99 into log. So for the first reaction, what is a? Already a is 100 percent. In that 99 percent of this is consumed. So a is 100 divided by 100 minus 99. Here k is equal to 2.303 by t 0.90 log here how much is a 100 a is 100 how much is consumed 100 minus 90 yes or no yeah simple now what do we do let us solve this when you solve this how do you get k is equal to 2.303 divided by t 0.99 log now 100 this is already 1 isn't it so what is log 100 log <coughs> sorry log 100 log 100 is 2 isn't it yeah so this particular value what do you get k is equal to 2.303 by t 0.99 this is log 100 is 2 yes so 2 right so I, instead of writing okay let us write log 100 into 2 because I've already found the value. Now when I solve this, what do I get? K is equal to 2.303 by t 0 0.90 log log 100 by 10. So now this is difference of you got log 100 by 10. This and this gets cancelled. Log 10 is 1, isn't it? So k is equal to 2.303 by t 0 0.0. It is 1. Log 10 is 1. Now what do we do? This is write this as equation 1, write this as equation 2. Simple. Now you are going to equate 1 and 2. You only because I, you have to find out this ratio, isn't it? Now equate 1 and 2. So what is 1 equation? It is 2.303 by t 0 0.99 into 2 is equal to 2.303 now this is second equation t 0 0.90 into 1 this and this gets cancelled yes now what do we get now you're going to cross multiply with this this and this gets cancelled isn't it to cross multiply what do we get t 0 0.99 is equal to 2 into t 0 0.90 hence proved this and this same T.99 or T99% is same twice, twice, T90, T90, hence proved. So you can write, hence proved. That's it.